Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to all my pupils. So I hope you are doing well at home. Today we are going to do a revision on chapter 6 by doing roundup exercise. So I have prepared a Google form for you to answer uh, this exercise. Okay, you don't have to do it in your notebook. So let's take a look at the uh, questions okay quest uh, part a okay circle the correct words it is quite easy because you are given two options and you just need to choose the correct answer next one we move on to uh, part b the instruction is you need to complete okay the sentences below with the correct prepositions so in the google form i have provided the the options for you to choose from so you just pick the correct preposition quite easy for uh, part c you need to rewrite the sentences using the passive form passive form means ayat cakap pindah okay we have uh, two type of sentences of voices the first one is active and the second one is passive okay so all of these sentences are in the the active form so you need to change them into passive voice okay i give you one example okay mamat reads a book that is an active voice so the passive voice is a book is read by mamat uh, as easy as that next one we move on to uh, Part D. Circle the correct words. Okay. So once again, it is quite straightforward. There are two options. You just choose the best one, the better one. Sorry. And for task E, you need to complete the dialogue with the missing sentences. So you are given um, options from sentence A to sentence G. There are two extra sentences which you will not have to use. There are five. Are blanks okay but you are given seven okay options okay so choose any five of them to fill in the uh, missing parts okay clear next we move on to chapter seven okay today we are moving on to chapter a new chapter chapter seven mother nature alam semula jadi okay so without further ado we go straight to uh, the reading comprehension, the comprehension uh, passage on page uh, 90, uh, what page? Eh? Page 98, I'm sorry, page 98. Okay, the title is Amazing Animals. Okay, here you are given three animals. Okay, uh, first, first, the first one is elephant. Okay, big love. Okay, the topic uh, for text one is big love and the animal is elephant okay next one text two clever crows crows burung gagak yang bijak and text three dolphin to the rescue kalau merumpa datang menyelamatkan so you need to read these three texts before you can answer the reading comprehension on the next page okay so make sure you uh, Read this in your textbook. Okay, if you find any difficult words, so you have to look up. Okay, for the meanings in the dictionary. Okay, we move on to the questions on page 99. Okay, so I have prepared you a Google form for you to answer part C and part D on page 99. So let's take a look at page, um, sorry, section C, part C. Read the text and write E for elephant, C for crow, and D for dolphin. Okay, which animal? Haiwan mana satu kah? So you need to read the statement and then you need to uh, determine which animal that uh, uh, that answer the questions. Okay, so number one. Okay, uses its knowledge to help and not to help other species. Maksudnya menggunakan pengetahuannya untuk membantu spesies yang lain, haiwan yang lain. Okay, species here refers to animal. Okay, haiwan yang lain. 
Okay, two doesn't care about species when building a relationship. Tidak kisah tentang haiwan apakah bila dia membina persahabatan, perhubungan. Okay, anjing, okay, a dog, okay, can make friends with a cat, for example. So they don't care. Okay, next one, number three. Sometimes play tricks on other members of the same species. Kadang-kadang membuat helah terhadap uh, terhadap uh, haiwan yang sejenis dengannya. Okay. Number four is intelligent despite the size of its brain. Bijak biarpun otaknya kecil. Okay. Number five has been known to succeed where people can. Telah diketahui akan berjaya bila mana manusia gagal melakukannya. Okay. Number six has developed the ability to plan for future event. Uh, ada kebolehan untuk merancang peristiwa pada masa hadapan. Oh, so this animal is a good uh, planner. Okay. Number seven shows unusual levels of loyalty. Menunjukkan tahap kesetiaan yang luar biasa. Loyalty, kesetiaan. Okay. And number eight uses humans to accomplish a task. Mempergunakan manusia untuk menyelesaikan tugasnya. Oh, okay. so we have to be careful with these animals. Okay, next one. D. Match the highlighted words or phrases in the text with their meaning. Maksudnya, padankan perkataan yang telah ditandakan dengan warna biru muda or turquoise di dalam teks dengan maksudnya. Okay, there are two meanings which you do not need to use. Ada dua maksud ataupun definisi yang kamu tidak perlu gunakan. Okay, so there are seven um, words here. Okay, taken from the text, from the three texts. Okay, and these words have been highlighted with uh, the color of the coins. Okay, so you need to determine. Okay, the meanings. Okay, number one, devoted. Okay, number two, odd. Number three, recover. Number four, run over. Number five, shallow. Number six, gather. And number seven, accomplish. Accomplish, I'm sorry. So, okay, I hope you can answer. Okay, uh, the two Google Forms that I have provided in the Google Classroom. The first one is the roundup exercise which I give you one week to do and same goes for this comprehension question soalan kefahaman part C and part D I guess that's all for now okay good luck and make sure you do the homework given here don't be lazy okay all the best Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh